welcome back to my channel so I did yet another colorful video and I hope you guys aren't getting fed up of it but I love color and I just had to just get it out my system anyway today's video is this look and I hope you guys like it and stay tuned and subscribe and thumbs up is always good and I appreciate your support so much you all have no idea so let's just roll straight into this video so first I'm gonna do brows and I'm using my usual Anastasia Beverly Hills the brow pomade in the shade dark brown To conceal around that, I'm using my usual LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. For eyeshadow primer today, I'm using the Ambrosia Cosmetics IFX and I'm making sure to put this as close as possible to my brow because I will be putting some color up there and I want it to pop really really bad. This primer is super awesome. I haven't found one that is better than this. For sure, this is worth the buy. To start eyeshadow, I'll be using a thin brush. What I used was a lip brush actually and the blue eyeshadow and we're just going to be drawing a line just above our crease. Next, taking this light blue on a blending brush, we're just going to blend out the harsh line that we drew. And taking this dark blue and I used a liner brush and I sprayed it with the infallible spray and set and I drew a thin line right under the initial line that we drew with the first blue. Taking the same blending brush and dabbing it a little in the exact same dark blue, we're just going to blend this upwards into the lighter blue that we placed. And then I switched to a smaller blending brush just to get a little precision and to make sure everything was blended out properly. Next, I'm going in again with my eyeshadow primer and this is again the Ambrosia Cosmetics IFX and we're just going to carve out where we're going to put the color. Taking a mixture between these two yellows, we're just going to place that on the inner corner of our eye. And next, going in with this green, we're going to place on the center of our lid. And this is all using patting motions, just to get the color to stay in place. Taking this hot pink, we're just going to apply to the outer corner and we're also going to blend this onto the eyeshadow primer that we have sticking out at the end. Taking a blend between these two oranges, we're just going to apply this under the brow. This is the color I was telling you guys about earlier. And taking this shimmer shade, we're just going to go over that orange. It does just get the job done. It's not too much. Taking this Ambrosia Cosmetics Glitter Glue and the BH Cosmetics Glitter Collection in the shade Mermaid Blue. And another lip brush, no another liner brush. We're just going to draw a line just above all the colors that we place and use the glitter along that line. Next, taking the Caramia Waterproof Pen Liquid Liner in blue, I'm just going to line my lids and give myself a wing. For face primer, I use my usual Smashbox Photo Finish, which I took way too high above the camera. And for foundation, I use the shades N8 and N9 in the L'Oreal True Match line. And I mix them all together and blend them out on my face using a round foundation brush. Here, I'm just cleaning up the sides of my wing with my concealer and I believe for this, I used my Revlon Photo Ready Concealer in the shade Deep. I believe it's number 6. And I also used that to highlight along my nose, under my eyes, my cupids below my chin, and my forehead. For contour, I went in with the Elegale Pro Conceal in the shade Dark Cocoa. And I blended it out using my Real Techniques Contour Brush. To get rid of any harsh lines, I went over again with my foundation brush. To set my highlight, I went in with my usual Sasha Buttercup powder and a small wedge. 
and to set my contour I went in with the L'Oreal True Match Powder in the shade C7. Using a fluffy brush I'm just going to blend out the Sasha Buttercup Powder. For my bottom lash line, because I wanted the colors to pop so badly, I went in again with my white eyeshadow base and then I went in with a purple eyeshadow just for that extra pop of color. For mascara, I went in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes on both my lower lash line and my upper lash line before I applied lashes. For blush, I went in with these two blushes from the BH Cosmetics Special Occasions Palette and I thought it was really pink and because it was really pink and I wanted a more peachy feel, I went back in with my Milani Baked Blush in the shade Bellissimo Bronze and this did the trick and I was very happy. For highlight, I took this rose gold eyeshadow from the Juvia's Place Nubian Palette and I absolutely love this palette. I'll keep saying it and I have to post this tutorial I did with it. Just give me some time guys. I promise it will be up. And I'm feeling myself here. And for lips, I'm going in with the Sasha Cosmetics Lip Velvet in the shade You Only Live Once. Which apparently is one of my favorites. Because I think I used it in a lot of my videos to line my outer lip. And I'm also going to go in with the Sasha Cosmetics in the nude in the same lip velvet line for the inner lip and we're done and i want to thank you guys so much for watching my videos and don't forget to subscribe i appreciate the love and support and i hope you guys enjoy if there's anything you want to see feel free to comment below and i hope to see you guys at my next video